Hello everybody, it is Dockers and welcome to a tutorial video for Armour 3 and the A164 Wipeout. Specifically looking at how to laser designate your own targets for direct bombs. So what we are going to do is we are going to get in our plane. We're going to check the map and we have a mission down here of a bandit patrol. We are going to go there, scout it out with the targeting pod, mark them for a laser designator and then drop a a GPU directly onto target. So first off, let's get ourselves in the air. Flaps down, full throttle. We're gonna wait until we reach around about 220 to 230 in speed, and we are gonna pull back. So as you can see that there's a little dotted ring just to the top left of my gun reticle. That is to tell you where the targeting pod is currently facing. Let's get the gear up, flaps up, and we are going to head over towards that mission. If I hold left con left control and right click, I switch to the target pod, which I can move around. If I aim it down here, and then do the same again, it is now just off screen. Click it again, raise it up. You can see it is now on the top left of the HUD. So that is where the current targeting pod is located and facing. Let's back off on the throttle a little bit. Now if I'm looking around you can see that the targeting pod also tracks as the plane flies which means using a laser for it is going to be next to impossible to target. If you hold left control and press T you can stabilize the turret and you can see there it says area. So wherever I put it that is going to stay in that exact location so we can say let's target this building here and it will stay directly on top. Hold left control press T again to detach it and we will bring it back up to the nose. Uh, actually as we are target coming up to the target we are going to hold left control and press T to stabilize in the center of the mission and we are going to see if we can find ourselves our bandit patrol. Now on this server we do not have thermals because it just makes it too easy for a PvE server. I'm actually gaining too much altitude so let's just throttle back a little bit and level off. And there they are, they're all coming in now so they're all spawning. Oh we have a little bird as well, that's going to be interesting, we better take him out first. So let's switch over to our air to air guns. Let's see if we can find ourselves a little bit to take down before we turn our lasers on. Okay, he has popped up on the sensor on the right. Let's lock on. We'll put two away to make sure he goes down. And there we go, that's the pilot and the co pilot down. So that is now going to be out of the way. Excellent. Okay, so looking at the targeting pod, we have quite a big group actually. There is an, a uh, vehicle as well. Excellent. Right, we are currently switched onto our GBUs. As you see, GBU 12 is on the HUD to the bottom left, and we also have this line coming off of our flight indicator. If I nose down, this will say where the impact point is going to be. So we can indirect drop a bomb where we want to. We put it over the target, see that building, click, and we would be one away. However, what we want to do is we want to make sure it hits the exact point we want to. So we need to gain some altitude. Bring it around after I change my keyboard settings again. I'm very good at doing that. Bring it around towards the target and then we will load up the target in computer and sort it out. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to press change weapon until it says laser marker. Now if we simply left click, that will now be active. If we go to our targeting pod, you now have the little laser marker to the upper right hand side. As you can see, I can turn it on and off. So we want to turn that on. Remember the camera is stabilized. So if I had hit left control and T, it will detach. We want to lock it in place. Laser is also on. And there is a big squad there. So we are going to keep that on there. Now what we want to do is switch over to the GBUs. And these are called lock on after launch. So we'll press R just to get a rough marker of where they are. 
And you can do this in a couple of ways. We can dive bomb on. So we could drop it about here and it should impact quite well. But we are quite low. Best thing to do is get a bit of altitude, line up with the target and drop it when it's relatively close to the uh, impact marker. Let's have a quick check, make sure that force isn't moving. You can also move this while you are flying and while the bomb is on its way down. However, if it's too late, the bomb will not be able to redirect itself properly. Okay, this should be plenty high enough and far away. So we're going to roll around, and what we're going to do is I tend to use the target pod itself to drop the bomb. So if I get it so I am roughly lined up with the target, so about there. If I zoom out, there's a little crosshair that's now floating. It's just saying where area is. If I get that so it's near the box, and just click. We're going to make sure we are leveled out so we don't nosedive. And now just watch what happens. They are moved. I'm going to move it. And impact directly on the dot. That was a 12 kill streak, so a good 12 kill with that one GBU. So just a rerun on how to do it. You click through until you see laser marker. You left click once. Go to your targeting pod with left control and right click. Find your target. Switch over to GBUs. And then just drop it when it's near the target. And then the bomb will lock on, or what they're called as lock on after launch, which means they will attach to, their to the laser target and fall freely and you can just fly off. As long as that target is lased, you are good to go. So what about if we want to hit a moving target? Now it's a lot more difficult to do, however, it's a, the only difficult part of it is mainly drop, knowing when to drop the bomb so it tracks the moving target. The easy thing is to actually get the laser to stay on it. So let's find ourselves, let's drop away from that mission, I will go back and finish that one in a minute. So we have a black convoy here. Let's mark this and we will head there straight away, so we're 16k out. So I'll explain what you're going to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your targeting pod. You're going to find your vehicle. Control Left control and T to lock it to area. And then when a vehicle, or even a person, if you're lucky enough, goes in the center of the crosshairs, it will change from area lock to point lock. And it will then basically follow and track that target no matter where you go. And then it's just as simple as turning your laser on again, dropping the bomb, and it should impact on a moving vehicle only hard thing about it is if the vehicle is traveling at high speed the bomb can't actually fully redirect itself so you need to drop it early if the vehicle's heading towards you or drop it late if it's heading away from you but let's go and give it a go when we get closer in on the target okay we are back and we have two vehicles down here somewhere in Kavala so we are first of all going to point lock so left control and T and I can see one I can see both of them already we have one there and we have one here, so let's take the one out the front first. So all you're going to do is switch it to lock mode, so left control and T. Highlight the vehicle and hopefully if we get a good part of the vehicle, I think it needs to be a uh, like a thermal part of the vehicle, so like near the engine. Something that's hot that the uh, camera can actually lock onto. Let's swing her around and see if we can have another look. And there's the vehicle. Oh, a little bit of rubber band in there. There we go. So I've gone over the driver and it's now latched to point lock. So I'm not touching anything and that is tracking that vehicle perfectly. Make sure we're on laser. Left click. Switch to GBUs. If you look at my sensor screen on the right hand side, you can see that the orange cone, which is the targeting pod, is tracking with that vehicle. So every time I go into it, it's going to be looking back. Let's see if we can drop one. probably stall coming into this one but we're going to bring it right round quite heavy okay so there's our target let's switch to the target pod and zoom out see where the bomb is and it's traveling down the road so we're going to release one now now this might overshoot nope good impact 
So I did drop it a little bit late. Like I said, it was heading towards me. And I dropped it to the side of it. However, I believe that's a disabled vehicle. Let's go back for another look. We only have one GBU left. Let's make it count. So press R to target next vehicle. Let's line her up. Let's throttle back a little bit. Bombs coming into view now. One away. Yep, just the crew has ejected. So this should be a good drop. And they're getting back in and about to drive off. And impact. So there you go, guys. That is how to lock on using GBUs and your laser marker. Okay, guys, we are coming into land. Let's bring the gear down. Flaps down to landing. And let's see if we can keep this thing coming in nice and steady. I'm a little bit off center for the moment, but I should be able to crack that as we approach. Let's throttle down a bit more, get the air brakes on, get it to around about 270. Up the throttle a little bit, and we'll try and keep it about there. Still a little bit off center, but we'll roll it in at the last minute. We want our flight direction indicator to be on the edge of the runway, roughly. Okay, let's lower speed down a little bit, start the flare, we should start dropping airspeed a little bit about now. Air brakes, a little bit of throttle, and we're done. Beautiful. So I hope this has helped you out guys, hope it's helped you be able to self-designate your targets using GBUs. Um, let's have a quick rerun through the keybinds. So once you've found your target, you want to switch to your laser marker. Left click, that will activate your laser. Left control and right click to switch to your targeting pod. Find what you want to track. For instance, let's see if we can track this helicopter. Left control and T to switch it to area mode. Highlight over the vehicle, as you can see there it's now tracking, or the location, as which it says area. So if we just roll that over, switches to point. Turn your laser on, line it up with your reticle for your bomb drop, and then left click when you have your GBU selected. All the best guys, take care of yourselves, hopefully you found this useful, and I'll catch you all in the next one.